Hey, it's a great day. I'm Mike Current, Energizer, and today is day 36 on the Continental Divide Trail. So let's do this. So for today, hitting the New Mexico-Colorado border. Yeah, it's about nine miles from where I camped to the border and then an additional three miles to Cumbres Pass where I'll hitch a ride into the town of Chama. So not a huge uh, day as far as mileage today, but the two key words today are gonna be snow and blowdowns. Should be interesting.
turn to the border. One major turn. Look at that, we did it. This is it. We were just talking about. Yes, we were. We were just talking about this. There we go. It's from Tumbleweed? This is Colorado. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Trail continues on the other side. Down to Coombers Pass. I'm gonna get a hitch into Chama now. So why can I hitch here? Well, because this part of the road is not the trail. The uh, path goes from one side of the mountain down to the pass, over the highway, up the other side. So, so yeah, you know, the trail goes up over, don't have to worry about it. I'll get a hitch down to town, hitch back up, be back on the trail. That's the metal stuff on the ceiling? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of at the other end of town. Absolutely, man. Good luck with the hike. See you in a month or so. All right. Cool, cool. Happy hiking. So closing out day 35. Yeah, what an incredible day. You know, getting to the Colorado and New Mexico border. You know, all three of us kept expecting things to get worse based on the far out comments and the 12 miles. And I finally said it 100 yards from the highway. I go, man, that was easy. <laughs> you know? and, and that, you know, it just goes to show you, you know, a lot about uh, through hiking is timing. Getting, uh, getting through when uh, the, the weather and, and the conditions allow. So yeah, it was great. Got down to the highway. It uh, typically, it takes a long time to get a, a hitch out of Cumbers Pass down to Chama. It's, it's considered one of the most difficult uh, hitches. Some of the people we had dinner with took three hours, you know, but Mello, she yogis us a ride within three minutes of being at the pass. I mean, we hadn't even secured our gear and we were getting in the van. So yeah, kudos to her. Uh, got down to uh, Chama. Uh, did the uh, post office and tumbleweed got some stuff. I'll show those things in uh, upcoming video but I uh, got dinner and uh, uh, Lunch and dinner uh, checked into the Foster's Hotel. It's kind of a saloon bar restaurant uh, To me it forces me to get out of my my comfort zone sitting in the room and have a pint downstairs So that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, and then had dinner with a bunch of through hikers uh, that I've known, you know, for, yeah, practically for the last 800 miles. You know, they say in the military, there's a, a you know, the band of brothers, the bond um, that you share after a profound experience. And I think the same thing is true for through hikers. I think they share something and, and yeah, it creates a bond there. So having dinner with all those individuals was really special. 
Today was an incredible day. Yeah. It's going to be exciting next few weeks. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Thank you.